Wildlinger. visiting me today, and he cannot be trusted without supervision. Bang, no. Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> Hi, Stevie. Gee, what a nice house you got here. You know, I never had a house as nice as this one before. I'm glad you like it, Franklin. <laughs> So, what exactly is going on at Stevie's place? Stevie reluctantly let Franklin stay at his place for the day. But isn't Franklin a little... odd? <laughs> well, yeah, but somebody's got to be nice to him. Nobody visits Lulu. <laughs> you know, Stevie, I am already loving your furniture. Say... What's this love seat made of? Fiber? Velvet? Corduroy? Well, it doesn't matter. All materials the same thing anyway. <laughs> Why do you suppose that is? Do people just have trouble coming up with original stuff? I remember a few years ago I made an ice sculpture of Cindy Lauper, but it melted after ten minutes. Hey, want to hear me read from the phone book? I can, Franklin. I don't mean to be rude, but you talk way too much. Oh, yeah. Everybody I know loves to hear the sound of my voice. Of course, it's a heck of a lot better than people who let their voice crack. Why do things so crack anyway? Like eggs, for instance. Eggs are nice, but did it come first, or did the chicken? You know, there are more chickens in this world than people. Just goes to show how much better at survival chickens must be. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, what if air is actually just poison that takes 70 to 80 years to kill us? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if Eric could have a certain scent every day of the week? <laughs> Stevie, where'd you go? <clears throat> hey there, Stevie. Darren, you gotta help me. Franklin will just will not shut up. He's driving me nuts. I can't even hear myself think. How bad is it? I mean, come on, it can't be that horrible. I actually have a migraine from this guy's antics. Well, maybe there's a tolerable side to Franklin that you may not know just yet. Have you tried eradicating his kneecaps? <laughs> hey, slow down. No need to get savage. Well, regardless, I wish there was something we could do. Hey, Stevie! What? Someone's on the phone for you. <laughs> for you. Hello? Hey, listen, buddy. We've been trying to reach you. It's about your credit card. What about my credit card? It's at risk of being terminated. If you wish to save it, please tell me your social security number. Whoa, slow down. You're a scammer, aren't you? Listen here, Mr. Scam. I'm an alumnus of the Springfield Academy of Useless Knowledge. I'm not stupid enough to fall for your scams. This guy's trying to scam me? What do I do? Give it to Franklin. Sure, he can make it hang up. Ooh, me? Here you go, Franklin. Hi there, Mr. Scammy Man. How do you do? You know, I've talked to people on the phone a lot before. I guess it's a nice way to talk to people far away, huh? You know, the farthest I've ever traveled was to Barbados. Yeah, I know, not too terribly far. <laughs> Wait, stop. Turns out, though, that Barbados has weather far warmer than America. I bet they don't even know what snow is. I like snow. It's so pretty when it flutters down from the sky. Could you please? Uh, there's just so many things that are pretty and mesmerizing, like saturated colors. My favorite color is heliotrope with dead aquamarine stripes. Speaking of stripes, do you think zebras are white with black stripes or vice versa? Ooh, do you think zebras are actually stripy horses? Horses are very fast. You think they'd be faster if they had rocket thrusters on their backs? Stop wasting my time! I think I just made him mad. Franklin, you had no idea what you just did. 
You just chased the scammer away. Well done. Wow, thank you.